Hello, and welcome to the 17th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy my series, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, and you'll be able to be alerted to other content such as our Sunday morning worship services, which we provide live, and you can watch them later on as well, as well as our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday evening services with our pastor Mark, where he'll sing some more songs and also provide another lesson for you. So let me begin as I normally do with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so the verse that I want to look at today is a short one, but very powerful one. And it's from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, which reads, The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. How much of our lives are governed by plans? What do you want to be when you grow up? What are you going to study in college? What kind of family do you want? Many of us make long-term plans. And how many of our plans have worked out exactly according to that plan that we had? Did you become an astronaut? Did you study law? Did you have your 2.5 children in your cozy suburban house? This doesn't mean we messed up, does it? We want to have a straight path. But look at paths in nature. Rarely is there a straight line in nature. Yet the path continues to move forward. Or rather, it can move forward for you if we see the direction. Where is our guide? Our guide is in the book we should be studying our Bibles. Our guide should be asked for in our prayers. Perhaps we don't know the final outcome of our lives, the twists and turns along the way. However, if we continue in the path of God, if we continue to study and to pray, we will see that that path leads to where it should have. The bottom line is trust. Trust that the Lord will give us direction. Give us signposts on where we should be. Even if instead of being an astronaut, we become a teacher, or we become a gardener, or we become a carpenter. Pray and follow the path, and the Lord will direct you to your destination. I just hope these thoughts have caused you to think about a little bit in your own life and your own path. Thank you for watching this video.